Hello po everyone. My name is Glenda for Glenda Online Lifestyle. Welcome po to my channel. Dia or hack number one. The following video is going to show you more hacks for the candle holder. Another idea, which again, you know, I did this two years ago because I remember I, I used this for my son's uh, birthday cake is this one. So these are the first two ones that I bought in Poundland. So the other one became a, a fishbowl lamp and another one became a, a cake holder. Look, so I just glued it together. Like this is an, a microwavable plate. This is just one of my plates. Mm -hmm. And then I stick it to the candle holder. And now I have a very nice you know, cake holder. Again, this is two years old already and it's still stuck together. And I use this every day. This is actually, this is like a permanent um, fixture in the kitchen because I use this to hold um, a bowl where I put the coffee, you know, the coffee sachets. <laughs> I use, you know, Nescafe uh, coffee sachets because I like it because it just pour it into the cup and then that's it everything is there already so I arranged them I, I organized them I put them in this little bowl and pop it on top here and I also have you know tea sachets uh, in another bowl and I have this um, the sweeteners as well so I pop it all here so everything is here and I have a little teapot that I put here so this is a permanent fixture in the kitchen in my kitchen pot and this is the two years old already with that of course um i forgot to show you you can either use the hot glue hot glue in a glue gun or this glue it's called all-purpose ad adhesive i got this from poundland as well and this is also worth just a pound so I have a stack of this at home. I love this. <laughs> and the thing that is broken, I can fix it with this and a glue gun. So yes, so that's two already. And another one is um, you can also, if you want to, if you notice, I have showed you, I have showed you the, the candles I've shown you are um, fake, battery operated. Yes, because I don't want to put, um, real fire inside my living room i do that in the kitchen when i'm in the kitchen when i'm cooking so i will light a little tea light but i have to make sure that when the the fire is on the light is on that i am there in the kitchen usually when i'm cooking so when i'm done i have to turn it off otherwise you know my boys are fascinated with fire and all that so uh, i don't want any accident so these are just you know fake lights now for those of you who wants to um, make a candle holder, create a candle, a beautiful candle holder that you can put a real fire or a real candle in it, you can make a hurricane, you know, lamp or a hurricane uh, candle holder with a wine glass. So this is a wine glass. Let's say, for example, this is a, a real glass. This is a fake glass. I also got this from Poundland. The only reason I bought this, I bought two for my boys because I have real ones at home, the breakable ones. So whenever, you know, we're drinking wine, they also want to drink their juice in a wine glass. But I am scared to give them the breakable one just in case they break it. I don't want them to get hurt. So I saw this and it's quite big. This is, you know, large. So uh, if I can find, uh, I'm sure you will find, you know, a wine glass that looks like this, a big, you know, um, glass here and a thin stem. Um, what you can do, wrap this up with cloth or tea towel and then just, uh, you know, what do you call this one? Just heat the, the stem with a hard, uh thing either uh, a mallet or a you know the the handle of a knife of a bread knife cutlery you know knife our the ones we have is quite heavy so that will do so just knock it off and this will break it will break so once it's broken you only have this one you know left then you can put it if there is still a 
still a stem you know left then you can just pop it inside you know that hole and glue it so just put the glue again a glue gun you know around this glue gun and then pop the half of the wine glass inside so just imagine you know how beautiful it's going to be this is with the real you know a real glass and then you can pop a real a real tea light a real tea light tea candle in there just imagine it's going to look like that with a stem like this it's going to be beautiful this is colored green so if you can find you know like a clear one i wanted to <laughs> i wanted to break one but i just noticed that the, the the wine glasses i have the stem are quite thick and i really don't want to break it because it's um it's a set and it's also quite pricey so hopefully i'm going to find a wine glass that is the size like this in Poundland, clear glass of course and then i'm going to make myself a hurricane lamp yes so that's it so that's how many already that i, I have made i have the cake uh, holder i have the fish bowl light then like if i find you know um a clear glass with a thin stem so it will be easy for me to break the 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 stand then i'm going to make a hurricane light for myself you know as well so that's it i hope you love that i mean um it's really nice you know in poundland you're going to see a lot of stuff that are actually uh good value i mean if you buy yourself a hurricane lamp you know like this i found i saw one in marks and spencer and it is worth 15 pounds so imagine if i find a wine glass like this in in poundland and this is one pound as well so i get myself a hurricane lamp for just two pounds and this is glass so if you make a uh if you have a breakable wine glass so you can do that as well so basically this will be made of glasses and you can put a real you know candle on it with you know real fire in it and real fire so it's going to look beautiful yeah i've been to poundland you know lately and have seen quite a few stuff for for easter i found this glass easter egg i found a rabbit if you can see that thing on top there that is also a candle holder i'm going to show that to you but that will be for another you know episode that will be for easter how to decorate your easter tray how to make an easter tray so yeah i'm going to show that to you that will be my next you know topic so yeah so it's beautiful you know as it is but you can do so many stuff you know a lot of things you know to this it's just you know beautiful and it's a glass and it is looking rustic look if you go to poundland try to look for this candle holder it's beautiful stuck up because sometimes they will run out of it but when i went there a few days ago i saw this again so that's how you know i um i was inspired to do this you know vlog so yes go and get yourself this candle holder or candelabra and transform it into something you can transform it into a hurricane lamp a fishbowl lamp a cake holder which is uh, the possibilities are endless <laughs> so yeah so i hope you like it This is the candelabra or the candle holder that I have turned into a cake holder. So basically, I just connected this plate. This is just an ordinary plate, one of my plates. And I have, I made this like two years ago. So now it is holding this beautiful mocha cake from Sherry Ann. 
again i'm going to link her facebook page so you can put your orders she's taking orders for um cakes maybe you can request your flavor i know she made a very delicious mango cake that's that one was you know heavenly so you can order that a mango cake a mocha this one is a mocha cake ubi cake and um, I don't know what are the other flavors. So probably, you know, you can request your own flavor and then you can drop a message if you want to put your order. So here we go. This is my mocha cake on my candelabra cake holder. And that's it. It's Mother's Day done for me. Right. So before I end this vlog, I would like to take this chance to thank my super chatters and all my subscribers for uh, supporting me since the very start when I started doing these premieres. So um, first, in Levin, thank you so much. Jason Manriki, thank you. Thank you for your support. Polo you 30 thank you. And Yukina's channel. Thank you, sister. I really appreciate you. And Mercy Amor, thank you. And um, yeah, you your job. Thank you, Paul. Thank you for your support. And uh, Beth TV. Beth, thank you. <laughs> thank you for your patience. And who else? Keep walking. I'm trying to figure out who, who you are, but I think I have an idea already who you are. And um, I have found you. I am subscribed to your channel and I am following you. I like your videos, by the way. And um, who else? To uh, Knight of Hands. Knight of Hands, thank you, Paul. Yes, thank you so much. And thank you for your support. Uh, Sister Wendelin Oka, thank you, Po. And to everyone who is here today, I, I really appreciate your support. Thank you because of you all. I like doing uh, videos. I enjoy doing it now. And I am happy to do this premieres. That is what I was trying to say. <laughs> and um, so bye for now. And uh, see you next time. Bye.